Welcome back. Or are you welcoming me back? I don't know. Um, it's our first time in forever. We've done two streams in, in a day. I'm, I'm, it's incredible. I must be feeling bad. Um, I have right here this lovely box of miniatures from Reaper Minis. Um, as you can see behind me, I love me some miniatures. I have a, a copper dragon right here on my desk. I didn't paint this one. Uh, it's a pre-painted. I have a fairy dragon. I have this scorpion guy. I have an unpainted demon that I'm ready to paint. Um, I've got another demon that I had to glue his axe back together, uh, but I haven't primed and ready to paint. I, um, I've got a troll that I'm working on. Uh, I've got this lovely demon that I finished a while ago and haven't got to use in the game yet. Look at, look at this guy. Look at, look at him. Um, I love tabletop RPGs and the miniatures that come with them. You don't have to have the minis. That is very true. Uh, but I'm a very visual person, like a lot of men. Um, so I love, more than anything, having the miniatures for the characters. Like Even like supporting characters. Like This is the Black Staff in D&D &D 5e. Um, you know, here's Halister Black Cloak, the, the main villain of the, mad, uh, the Dungeon of the Mad Mage. I like having the minis um, on on the table. I would love to have the Dwarven Forge style terrain setups, like they use on Critical Role. That just oh man, that would that would do it for me. Um, so these these uh, were something I ordered a couple weeks ago, and due to the weather last week in in Texas, understandably they took longer to get here than expected. I got them this morning. I'll paint them this week. Some of them. There's a lot here. Uh, so let's let's get into this. I, I've I've opened the box, but I haven't dug into them yet. Um, the first thing I pulled out here are the Lemures. Um, there's two of them in the set. The little chubby little fellas. Uh, D and D lore. Forgive me uh, if you're um, more well versed than I am. My understanding is these are the lowest ranking devils in Avernus. When an evil person dies in the world of D&D, specifically Faerun, um, maybe others, I don't know. Faerun, though, I know that if, when you're a bad son of a bitch and you die in Faerun, you come out of the river Styx as a Lemure. And you're this goopy, fat, slovenly, weak-ass devil. Um... It's the beginning stages of your eternal punishment. Uh, they're gonna, you're going to come across a running theme, a theme here, and I'll explain it. This next one I pulled out is an ape demon. It looks like a gorilla with demon wings. Pretty self-explanatory there, right? Uh, this is a blood demon as Reaper calls it. Uh, it has another name in D&D &D that I can't remember what they're called. I have them in my books. Um, the lore I remember off the top of my head is these fellas uh, are for were formed originally when like some evil creature bled and then the blood turned into those demons and now they, they're an existing type of demon and devil. Um... This one is a female Oni. Um, this one here is a medium fire elemental. Which is cool to me that it's orange because I don't have to paint it really. Like I like painting them just fine, but like this is the D&D &D fire elemental I painted last night. And here we have a medium fire uh, fire elemental from Reaper. Um, I don't think I need to paint it. Maybe add a little bit of red and yellow to it. I don't know. Um, 
the big boy here is the boar demon and he's gonna have to be assembled he's in pieces <laughs> he's gonna have to be put together so it says i love particularly that it says may require some assembly and he's in pieces in the box <laughs> may uh this is just a just a uh this is just a, a, a dark elf elite i don't have any drow minis um I have a Dritzt and a Jarlaxle, uh, but I don't have any just regular Drow. Where's the one I converted? Somewhere over here on my desk is, a, there he is. I had an extra Rainier Never Ember figure, so I turned him into a Drow. Um, you know, gave him the underdark gray skin, the white hair, changed his clothing. He's now a Drow, not Rainier Never Ember, um, because I had two of these. But yeah, the boar demon. I don't have a picture of what he's supposed to look like. And then the last one I have here is a Pathfinder. The Whispering Tyrant. The Lich. Now, you might have picked up the theme. Uh, a lot of demons, a lot of devils, a lot of undead. Um the game I'm running every other weekend with the kids and Chelsea is uh, slowly building towards a surge of demonic and devil type enemies so I needed to get as many of them as I could and I basically bought all the interesting looking ones that I could afford from Reaper a couple weeks ago uh, to go with the ones that I have and, and um you know, then I then I saw the Whispering Tyrant, and I was like, I don't have that Pathfinder set. I don't have that Pathfinder adventure, but I like a Lich. Um, you know, the bad guy, the big bad of the campaign that I'm running for the kids. When they get to your know, end game stuff, will be against a Lich and his army. So why not have extra Liches? So, um, and they have a Whispering Tyrant figure officially uh, from Paizo and Wiz Kids. But it's part of a, a blind box booster thing, um, kind of like where Hallister and all these characters came from that I bought aftermarket. Uh, but I just wanted my own take on it. That way I could paint it however I wanted to paint it. And, and then if I get that blind box and get it in the future, whatever. But, but uh, that was our minis. As you can see also over there, we're going to play Immortals today and under the thing. Um, so I'm waiting on it to load. It just finished loading.